okay hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to design this uh, amazing banking website this is the live stream so it's going to be full of mistakes but um since i'm not driving this um, design uh, from any any other inspiration i don't have any guide i'm going to be designing this from scratch so that um people that are watching will be able to like um know how people make mistakes as they design so without further ado let's get on with designing and um, please don't forget to hit the subscription button turn on the notification so that anytime i'm dropping any video you'll be the very first person to see our notifications so let's get on with design basically the very first thing for you to do whenever you are designing a figma is to create a frame As you can see, when I select the frame, I have different sizes here. I have phone, tablet, desktop, I have presentation, watch, paper, and so on and so forth. But since I will be working with um, a desktop, I'm designing a website for web. So I will be um, selecting this desktop. Select the desktop right there. So once you are through with the desktop, make sure you change the name. The name of the frame double click on the title and just change it to imaginary bank since i'm designing for a banking website now that you are true with renaming your frame um next thing for you to do is to create a layout grid for this particular frame but before then you should see all these colors that i have up here these are the colors i'm going to be working with you can use any color that suits you so far it's going to make your design looks very neat and awesome so i'll be creating a layout grid for us to work with so come to layout grid right here at the right hand side click on this plus icon then click on this grid boxes change from grid to columns change this 5 to 12 make the margin the margin should be 90 then the gutter should be 25. this grid system is going to help you align your text align your elements efficiently now that we are through with the um the layout grid next thing for us to do is to create the header section this header section make sure is the same width with um the very first frame and make sure you are drawing that particular frame inside the very first frame change it from this 97 to 80 make sure it is 80 height make sure the height is 80 and rename it to header header section now this header is going to hold our logo and our menu items at the same time it's going to hold a button maybe signing or sign up button another thing you need to see here is um, the icons I have loads of icons here that I'm going to be working with also and at the same time I have um, pictures that I'm going to be working with you can use any picture you want to use I'm designing for a banking website so those are the pictures and icons that I'm going to be using so don't forget our header right here i'm going to click on it and drag it up here and i'll fill it with uh, white just click on this fill it with white so the same grid system that i used here i'm going to use it on this header section I'm going to click on layout grid Change to columns, make it 12. Margin should be 90 and the gutter should be 25. So I'll be working with this frame. So um, select te your text here. Just write logo banking. Logo. Oh, should I just make it pin? 
bank. This is going to be our logo. Change it to 24. Align vertical center. Then we're going to create our menu items. The very first one is home. Select it and make sure you change from semi bold to regular and the font size is going to be 16. Just like that. Now this home is going to have an icon. I'm going to come here and look for an icon that I'm going to use. So I will be using a home icon. Let's use this one. Let's use this one. I need a home icon and I need this particular icon right here. I'm going to select both and I'll copy it. Control C to copy. I'm going to paste them here. I'm going to change the color to white. I'll be changing the white color back to this color. This is home. I'll click on shift and hold everything together or you can just drag your mouse over them and align vertical center. Make sure you um, do shift A to add auto layouts and change this 7 to 4. The space between them are going to be 4. Then I'm going to add another one called uh, features. And this features is going to be a mega menu. So it's going to have an icon, this icon. This is going to show you that you can select more and I'm going to change this icon from that color to this color. I'll select the two of them, shift A to add auto layout. And I'll make it four, the space between should be four. Select the both of them and do shift A to add auto layout. The space between 24. Now you can duplicate this as many times as you want. Let's see, as you have features, you have investors. Let's say you have about us. All these are mega menus. Let's say you have um, contact us. You have plans. Let's have media right here. Now we are through with the menu items. Another thing we can do is um, we can have a language switcher here or country switcher. I'll draw this frame right here. I hold shift and I'm going to change this color to, I'm going to fill this color with green, which is my primary color. And the corner radius, I'll change it to 50. Just like that. Since I'm in Nigeria, I'm going to be drawing Nigerian map. Inside, I'm going to draw a rectangle. Rectangle.
just select this frame and make sure this is clip content change the frame to flag the name of the frame to flag I'll change the rectangle inside to white I'll change the color to white then I'll give the stroke change this stroke color now I have a country switcher select everything here and now align it to and now we'll align it vertically center next thing for us to do is to add a button so we are going to be having a button select a frame and draw your button right here Um, the width should be 198 by 41 height. Change the color for now. Let's give it a stroke. And the stroke color should be green. We are going to have the corner radius to be um, 8. Align vertical center. Inside this button, we are going to have we are going to have uh, a text that says "Open an account." An account, all caps. Then inside, we are going to have an icon, a user icon, since they are opening an account. Just click on the frame and just paste the icon inside. I will name this frame to my button or oh, sorry, open account or just button. The space between the icon and open an account should be four. And we are going to shift A, auto layouts, and rename it to text and icon. And our align center, horizontal center, and vertical center. The text color should be gray. Text color should be this color. Now note that we have a grid line right here. Just make sure the button is starting from there. Now we are through with our heading, yeah, like our header section. So I'll be moving this header inside the website. Now that we have our header inside the imaginary bank frame, now what is left for us to do is to create our hero section don't forget this is the header section next thing for us to do is to create the hero section so the hero section is going to span from where this header section stopped to anywhere we want it to uh, to reach so now the hero section is going to be uh, select a frame so right here, draw the frame, move it up, the height of the frame should be 762, 762, so inside this frame we are going to have an image going to have an image 
move this image up, zoom in. This image is going to span through seven grid lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven grid lines. Bring it down till the end of the hero section. Double click. Select this angle after double clicking. Don't forget we selected um, a rectangle too. Um, these edges, I'm going to give it 30 corner radius. Now, this is going to hold our, our picture, which is this image. Then right here, we are going to have all our text, the hero section text. Now that we know what is going to hold our text, uh, our image, we need to have the very first subheading right here. We are going to give it true free banking experience. This is what the text is going to be. This is the subheading and uh, the font style is Manrope extra bold and font size is 20. Now the subheading is the, this is the subheading. Now we need to have the heading. This is the heading. Break it down, move it up. So the space between these two should be should be 16 or 15. Let's make it 15. Then we need um, a short description right here. We need a short description. to break it down just like that then we have another text down here that says fully verified fully certified by the by the Central Bank of Nigeria, which is CPN in short. Then after this, we will have a logo. Let's create another logo right here. This logo is going to take the primary color, which is green. This should be 41. Span through two grid lines. I'll duplicate this. Okay, so the both of them are going to have corner radius of eight. Just like that. Now, fully satisfied by the CPN, we need a CPN icon right there. We need a CPN icon. So I'm going to control to paste CPN icon, have it, or select the both of them, 
and I'll shift A. Now make the space between them four. Just like that. Shift A. I'll rename this frame um, Hero Buttons. Hero Buttons. Now I will be changing this color, this color right here. I'll change it to white. I'll give it a stroke. This stroke color is going to be the secondary um, color. What is remaining is for us to add text inside these buttons. Inside this button, I'm going to add all are going to, all the text inside the buttons are going to be caps. It's going to be um, open on accounts. I'm going to copy this inside this place. Now change the color to secondary color. This is going to be investors invest with us. This is going to have an icon, an arrow icon. Change the text, uh, the icon color to secondary. Shift A to add auto layout. Now let us add our image. I'm going to duplicate this. Control D to duplicate. Control D to duplicate and now. I'll paste it here. Just like that. Now it is time for us to change the image to crop and we are going to zoom it to fit. And right now we are through with the hero section. This is what we have. Now that we are done with the hero section, let us fix some things. This home should be, we need to change the color to the primary color, which is green. To make sure this is the active page. Then, I personally think this 
this button should be expanded. Give it more space. Two one seven. This one too should be two one seven. I'm going to be adding an icon inside us. Shift A to add auto layout. And space between them should be should be four. Change to white. Just like this. Select everything right here and add Shift A. Auto layout. The space between should be 25. We'll move it up a little bit. Let me get my grid line to be sure. Okay. That is fine. I need something like sponsors or partners logos. We have it here. Partners and those are the locals. And now I'm true with the hero section. You are not done yet. We need to correct this button right here. Now the text inside here should be. Capitalize, open an account, not all caps, and this should be um, 16 as the font size. Now, this should be 52, the height of the button should be 52. So we can just make it 50. Same thing applicable to this one. Make this 50. And this should be capitalized also. Invest with us. We can just say investors center. Now, let's tidy up 25. 
the space between them are 25 shift a to up, give it auto layout and space between the subheading should be 15 or 13. Now we are going to move this up two bits. Then we need um, we need um, partners logos down here. We need a partner's logo, and that is what I'm going to add here. Just like that. Let me present these to see what we have. And this is the end result. 